This is it. Human stem cells being injected into a pig's embryo. For the first time, scientists are seeing how our cells grow and interact inside an animal. This pig, the first known chimera. The ultimate goal for this type of research is to whether we can use this technology to generate human tissue and organs. That's going to give us a lot of unique insights. Right now, scientists are nowhere near that goal, but recent studies have shown how that process can work using gene editing. Scientists would delete a specific piece of an animal's DNA, so its embryo wouldn't be able to grow a heart, for example. Then they'd inject that embryo with human stem cells, which move into the void and grow a human heart. The embryo would then be put back inside the animal to develop. The possibility of growing human cells and tissues inside animal is an exciting first step for the dream of generating tissues and organs for transplantation into humans. We're still far away. To date, everything the researchers have done is legal, but what they're doing is highly controversial. The embryo is only being allowed to develop for 28 days. It's not allowed to be born. Bioethicists say this research raises a lot of uneasy questions. The boundaries between what it means to be human and what it means to be non-human uh, can become quite blurred. Um, also, you know, it, it's not great for the animals. There's, there's risks for them, there's no benefits for them. It may help a lot of people, but the moral status associated with this is a deep, deep, deep question. That word, chimera, from Greek mythology is meant to elicit fear. But the scientists argue they are trying to solve a problem and save lives, not create a monster. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.